All right, here we are, guys, hole three. Now, what I'll typically do on this hole is a quarterback, but I need to make sure that I have a good enough quarterback. Otherwise, I'll need to go extra mile. This is very interesting. I didn't even get to see this guy's aim. It didn't even show me him do anything. So it looks like he is going to slide on through, and what that will typically leave you is about sniper distance. Uh, when you when you do just kind of clip it through that rough what I like to do is I like to get it a little bit more aggressive try to get it up to the uh, To the short iron and I usually keep the uh, the long iron and I usually try to keep this Titan on because what that allows me to do The Titan will typically allow me to uh, Get it to short iron distance, which is where I would like to be so what I'm thinking about for this one is almost four rings. You'll see that's what I'm going. Just a gentle, gentle curl. Perfect ball. And just try to land very close to the edge. And get it on up and get it to scoot out with about four bars. It'll typically put you towards max club. You know, I may need to put on a Goliath for this hole. Um, I may be kind of pushing my bounds and a little bit in between clubs here. So something you may want to just be just a little bit cautious of. So if you're gonna put yourself in between clubs, you may want to kind of intentionally lay it up just a little bit more and get it to that sniper bump shot distance. So it looks like I did I did drive it far enough, so it's all good. But, uh, you know, just something to be thinking about. So I'm thinking, you know, 1.4 per ring. I pretty, play, I pretty much play it pretty spot up here. Um, you know, typically about one top spin should be good. So it might look like the guide's short, but you'll probably just want to just roll with this. I'm thinking 1.4 per ring, as I'm mentioning. Just a little bit more than two rings here. And of course, so we got a great ball. No chance it's going to go in with great. So you're going to see that it just blocks out. As I mentioned, you can see the ball guide still rolls through. Keep in mind, you don't have a 5.0 ball guide. So it will just be a little bit. So just trust your, trust your one spin. Don't try to land too close to the edge because there's like a glitchy rollout bounce. So make sure that you're keeping it short of that. Good luck with that hole. And I'll see you guys on the other.